what's happening YouTube fam I'm really hoping the guy over there with the lawnmower isn't super loud I'm thinking he's gonna be super loud and ruin this whole entire video but I'm hoping not so as you can see we are outside right now it's a beautiful day here in New Jersey and I wanted to talk to you guys a minute about something that I get a lot of questions about what do I do with my time and what are my future plans so I just want to talk about it because like I said a lot of people ask I was definitely curious about what like youtubers that I saw were doing as well It's definitely a valid question and I definitely felt the same way like I would watch a YouTube channel Especially of a younger person and be like oh, do they go to school or what do they do? So what I do is I make my money from personal training my two sponsors Which are my protein and Gymshark and then I also make money through YouTube now I have a humongous passion for teaching other people how to grow themselves and how to do things I always have ever since I I was a little kid so that's what I do right now and I put a lot of time into my clients so right now I'm actually getting ready to take on like another 40 50 60 I want to just really really grow my clientele base and I'm also gonna be still working with some of the people that I was working with previously a lot of them want to continue to work with me so I'm really really flattered and happy about that I also want to really really grow my personal training business to eventually having like a hundred or two hundred clients and doing it all by myself so working like six seven hour days a lot of people have other people that work for them so like you'll hire somebody and then you think you're talking to them but you're really talking to somebody else I don't believe in that I have always wanted to be personal and yeah I'm hoping to really grow my business so that's kind of what I've been focused on doing is just figuring out ways to better the experience for my clients and being able to make it easier on me so I can pick up even more clients so yeah that's kind of what I do and I'm definitely planning on a lot of huge things for the future like increasing how many videos a week that I make from two to three to even four and five and so on and I just want to continue to grow my business and really just grow my relationship with the people that watch my videos. When I went to the Gymshark meetup or the Nikki Blackheader event, you could say, I had an amazing time just meeting so many like-minded people who watch my videos and I watched a lot of their videos, like they told me about their channels and it was just so cool to know that so many people like support me and these are people that are absolutely amazing. Like a lot of the people that follow this channel or I would say pretty much most of the people are awesome people who are just so like-minded and that's why you guys enjoy watching. So yeah, I just want to continue to keep growing and motivating people people and whatever the future holds it holds but I'm just trying to really really grind and grow myself as a brand that's pretty much what I do and I thought I'd talk about it because like I said I get asked all the time but now I'm gonna be taking my dog Stryker for a walk I hope you guys are giving your animals love today it is National Pets Day so I'm gonna take Stryker for a walk down to the local park and let him run around like the hockey rink or wherever I can let him run around that's what I'm gonna go do right now and then I'm gonna be showing you guys my pre-workout meal after I get home and then I'm going over to the gym I'm hitting a push day with my brother man Ron Russo aka the honest ox as a lot of you guys know him as so it should be really really fun I have not recorded a raw push day yet super excited to finally do that and yeah I'll see you guys in a little bit all right I'm currently skating back with a little strikey strike right here and I'm super pissed we hung out at the park for a while oh, car come on come on man there's a car Get out of the way. So I came to the realization that I forgot my phone at home and I can't fly my drone once I got to the park. And it's like perfect out right now for drone shots. Like the sun looks amazing. And there was just a bunch of people at the park. It would have been really, really fun to fly the drone. But of course I forgot my phone. So we're gonna go back home right now. Then I'm gonna eat my pre-workout meal and get ready to head over to the gym. This is what happens when you misbehave, Striker. I have to hold you, dude. You lost your privileges of walking because you're being mean to the other animals on the street. Yeah. So we got a wild Cornelius here? Yeah, boy. Yeah? Do you want to go mess around on my trampoline? Yeah, I'm down. Alright, let's go. What'd you say? You'll be up in there and I'll tap you if I try to wrestle. Alright, let's wrestle then. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's wrestle. Cornelius just, he's, he's about to play a game he doesn't want to play, but we're going to wrestle though. Wait, close that. Yeah, that's fine. I just feel nervous. Oh, <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, it hurt. All right, we started. Yeah, that was right, it's not what? Did you see that? Yeah, I almost had him. No, you did. I literally let you. All right, here, look. I don't see you. Wait, don't break our wrists. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is fun. I like this. You always get this wrist, man. Ah, oh, that's the wrist. I'm exhausted. I'm going to make myself too tired. 
Cornelius, come over here right now and claim, claim your hoodie. I hope they sent you the right one. Hopefully. I don't know. Well, they sent me a large what? or a medium or what? small. What medium? Actually, try that on. I want to see how you look in the medium. My hair's so fun. You gonna wear that to the gym today, bro? Yeah, my hair's so fun. Dude, my protein clothing is honestly really, really nice. Like, I love this line. I don't know what it's called, but I love this stuff. It's clean. Your hair's looking messed up, dude. Is it bad? Dude. It's pretty bad. I'm roasting you. It's so light. I know it is. It's super low. We got people trying to break in out there. When I see a kid that can't put a fucking jacket on. Yeah, is that bad? Yeah, it's bad that you can't zip your jacket. Yeah, it looks pretty clean, dude. That's Good. nice. Yeah, Cornelius yeah. is gonna wear his medium. I'll wear my large. Because I'm a large man, he's a medium man. Yeah, it looks Good. dope though. I like that a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I almost forgot. Okay, so my pre-workout meal is gonna be this bar right here that I was supposed to eat. What are you looking at like that, dude? I'll go away. Alright, go away. The bar that I was supposed to eat for breakfast, I'm gonna eat this. I have some ham right here that I made last night, which is some good protein and some good sodium. And then I'm also gonna finish off this orange juice so I get a bunch of carbs in me. Some uh, simple carbs and also some sugars. Nothing too satiating on the carb side and the monster juice. The monster juice is literally the best one ever. No. I th it's in like it the pink. Is. The monster juice, just for some context, is the monster in the pink can. We're gonna go get that after I eat this. He's gonna go home, get ready for the gym, and then we're gonna head over to Attila's. <laughs> Go look this song up and you listen to it pre-workout and if you don't hit a 50 pound plus PR, you can personally email me. I will send you everything that I have ever owned in my entire life. <laughs> See, they, these things suck. Slim Jims? No, Slim like, Jims don't suck. No, to open, to open, to okay, open. Okay, I was gonna say, you bought one, dude. Yeah, I know. Don't hate. Come on, give me some air time. Let me uh, show my, come fun. on. All right. So I have the Fruit Punch, what is it? What's Fruit Punch? Pipeline Punch Monster. I haven't had one in like 43 years, so I kind of forget what it tastes like. We're gonna give it another taste test right now, let you guys know what I think. And I was talking so highly of all the uh, zero calorie ones yesterday, so hopefully I don't love this one. i uh, be contradicting myself. It's good. What? What? Oh, no, that's good as hell. <laughs> yeah, it is good. No, that's real good. Yeah, guys, this is real good right here, this pipeline punch. Oh, it's real good. All right. How long have you been waiting here, brother? About 20 minutes. I I'm sorry, Ron. Time. Ron, that's an honest man that'll wait that long for me. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. We just got here. We just got to the gym. Ron's sitting here waiting for us. Ron, are you sure you want to use this bench, though? For something about this bench is all I like that. Something about that bench is better. Uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, we're going to use that one? Yeah, all right. What are you going to hit there on the bench? Uh, whatever you're hitting. Whatever I'm hitting? Yeah. Are you going to mash me five by eight? I don't know, Ron. You know I got the high reps, Ron. Five by eight. Five by eight. I don't know, we'll see. How's the cut going though? Uh, it was going pretty good. I was down at like 189 and then... And then you I did 15,000 calories, Ron? Oh, uh, well, yeah. You forgot bad. about then that? I got back down to where I was supposed to be and then... Oh my God. I was on the floor this weekend and I came back and now I'm six pounds heavier again. Yeah. What about... What, so what are you going to compete at? You're competing in a powerlifting meet? Yeah, powerlifting meet. I got to get down to 182. 182? Yeah. Guys, comment down below if you want me to go to Ron's meet and document all Ron's state records. Cornelius, dude, you're, war you're warming up on 25s, man. What is that, Cornelius? That's embarrassing, dude. Why do you got 25s on there, dude? Hey, bro, I started it. Rod, explain to me. Rod, explain to the people. You literally start out on the bar and 25s. Why? Yeah, I do the bar for two sets of 30, and then I hit the 25. Why? Oh, Ron, you're a big ox who benches shoulder. 400 pounds. All right, so we're going to start out 135 on the bench. Dude, I hope that you guys can hear. The music in here is super loud, but first set that I'm going to do is 135. So probably do like around 15 to 20 reps just to loosen everything up and get some blood flowing up in the chest a little. Go! <laughs> Yo, Ron, you need to put those 25s back on, or you're, are you good? You're, gonna, you're good with this? You're uh, good with I, that? I don't want to be laughing. Oh, okay. All right. All right.
Looked on us, Ron. How's it feel today? It's feeling alright. I actually burned a little. What are you gonna try to do for five by eight? Uh, for five, five by eight. Um, are you touching it? Uh, I think it'll be 260. 260? Uh, alright, so the workout today that we're gonna be doing, I don't know if I already said it, but we're gonna be doing five sets of eight today. Um, that's what my program calls for. Ron took one for the team. He's gonna do the same thing I'm doing. And I'm gonna try to match him. We're gonna both do, Maybe we'll do 260. 260. <laughs> Alright, now we're. I just looked over. We're both thinking like 260 is a bit heavy, but yeah, Ron's like cutting. So we'll probably be like 250, 260. I'll let you guys know once we get up and wait. Does this look clean? Yes, it does. The shirt look clean? Yeah. Comment below if this shirt looks clean, guys. I just ordered it from High Protein. Little zip up, I like it. But right now we're going to throw on 225, so throw a plate on there. I'm going to throw a plate on the other side, and we're going to do our second set. It looks easy. How's it feel? Uh, feels alright, man. Feels alright. Ron, when I turn this camera off, how's it gonna feel then? Still feels feel a little heavy. Alright. <laughs> How's it feel today? Good? It feels good, yeah. So while no one was looking, Ron secretly walked over here and put 250 on because he really doesn't want to do 260. So I'm going to be a nice guy today and we'll do 250 for a 5x8. You need to touch this bar. You need to lift up too? I don't need Cornelius, to Ron's saying if you touch this bar and he doesn't need it to be touched, he's going to kill you, yes. I counted seven, seven Ron. Seven. Would you, you count more? I you counted seven? I might have been able to grind out one more. But I don't one. know, Ron. All right, let's see what I can do. All right, in Ron's defense, guys, he did cardio before he got here. I mean, it's, it's all right, Ron. We all have our off days. Dude, but I'm going to do my first set right now of my five by eight, so hopefully I don't get seven like Ron. Fucking lose the whole Two twenty five was Cornel two twenty five was Cornelius's max. Like, what? How long ago, Cornelius? Uh, last week. Literally a week or two ago. So right now he's gonna hit this and then see if he can go up from there. Let's go. Yeah. Woo! Oh, no, Cornelius, explain to me. Literally explain to me what happened. I you could like literally two weeks ago when we were working out. This was like a maybe a one rep max. What happened? Like, literally. Uh, it's in the water, something's in the water. Beside me, the side of you that I know. Cause if it's my love, it's worthless. To pull me right back, slip in my eye and I'm worthless. You don't understand, you don't understand why. Alright, so because Ron did his cardio and everything like that, he dropped down to 225 <laughs> as you saw. I'm not roasting you, I gotta tell It's all good. He dropped down to 225. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with this. So this is my second set of eight, so. Let's do it, and hopefully I'm not being too cocky without a spot right now, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it anyway. Alright, so I just finished my second set. Cornelius ran away somewhere to go stretch, but he was talking about how he wanted to hit 235 today. I think he's good for 240, so me and Ron are just gonna put it on the bar, and when he gets back, he's gonna do it. Cornelius, not only did we put the weight on for you, but if you look, that's not 235. I didn't want it's 240. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, this is a huge PR. What? Come on. Drive, get it. Ooh, get it, get it, get it. Push it. Oh no! Oh! 
What a tragedy. If it was 235, I Cornelius, I'm sorry, dude. I, I just did that to Cornelius. Why'd you do that? I'm sorry, dude. That's fine. That's such a shame. Cornelius is not going to be able to sleep tonight. The only thing going through his head is going to be that 240 just, it just needed to be right there and it was right there. Why was I so close? Why is my lockout so shit? Because of these little guys right here, dude. Alright, I'm on set numero tres, and I just held up two fingers. Yeah, I'm that's on set right. number three, and Ron's gonna spot me for the set, and also can I get a lift off? Because my last set felt a little heavy, just playing it safe. <laughs> John, explain to me how a man with pipes the size of this, mm -hmm. with pipes that big, can't bench 240. I know this, dude. Look at that. Ew, oh, but don't God. blind the people. Ew. <laughs> Was that? Pretty sure I was 10. 10? Yeah. All right. All right, all right. I think for my last set, I'm gonna match Ron here. I'm gonna do uh, 225 for my last set, or five, and probably go for like around 12 reps because I don't wanna cheat myself. That 250 was starting to get heavy after my fourth set. I grind? That was like 18. 18, 19 rounds, yeah. All right, so the next exercise we're gonna do is the dumbbell shoulder press, uh, seated dumbbell shoulder press. The reason why I don't do standing overhead press is because I actually have like kind of weak shoulders. And what up, bro? Oh. You're gonna actually like hit the shoulders a lot better, like specifically the shoulders. Woo! And also when you're using dumbbells and doing dumbbell shoulder press, it gives you a lot less room to cheat and use your body. So dumbbell shoulder press is key if you're trying to build the shoulders. Ron's smart. See, Ron got the dumbbells that look like they're 150s, but really guys, that's a seven and a zero. So how I do my push days is I always start out on two heavier movements. Like you saw I did the bench press and I went for max weight. I did seated dumbbell shoulder press. We went for max weight. And every week I try to improve on the weight that I do. So last week or the last time I did this workout, I did 245 and I did 70s on the dumbbells. So basically just trying to improve every single week. And now we're gonna go for more of like a pump. So we're not gonna worry about the weight. We're just gonna worry about the contraction and get the pump. So we're gonna be supersetting this exercise right here, the shoulder exercise. That does feel very awkward and you have to get used to it. And then we're also gonna be using this right here, which is the incline chest press. We're gonna be doing three sets of 12 reps each. So let's get started.
All right, so the next exercise I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing, and Cornelius and Big Ronnie, is the tricep push downs, but we're gonna use the straight bar right here. The reason why we use the straight bar is because when you use the rope, it's great and all, but you just can't go as heavy. So we wanna go a little bit heavier today. And also when you use this, you can, you can overload better. Cause like I said, with that rope, it's hard to increase weight without cheating. So we're gonna do this, three sets of 12 reps. I'm finished a little bit before me. I was taking really long on the other thing over there, but you're out. Hey man, Matt here. Peace out, brother. Tell them to subscribe to your channel, bro. Subscribe to my channel, Honest Oxen. Make Honest cool. Oxen. Hopefully it's down there, we'll see. And hopefully it's down there if I don't get pissed off at Ron later, so we'll see. Go to his channel, link will be down below. All right, we're just gonna finish our workout off. We have like two more sets of the tricep push downs, and then me and Cornelius are gonna do three sets of 12 on chest flies, which I'm gonna record that, but this is gonna be the last of the talking, and then I'll talk to you guys when the workout's done, so I'll see you then. With this exercise, I just wanna let you guys know really quick, make sure you're not trying to go super heavy and like cheating yourself. This is fully like about the chest contraction, pumping blood in there. So when you're doing this, just make sure you're getting a really good squeeze and controlling it the whole time. Don't go super, super heavy. That's how we both feel right now. We just got out of the gym right now and we're both super, super tired. We're ready to go home, kill a bunch of food. I'll probably do another protein shake. Honestly, not sure, but I'm gonna eat a lot. And yeah, you guys would probably roast me if I showed you anyway, cause it's, it's not gonna be clean. I'm getting in all the shitty, dirty foods before I start my cut in the next few weeks. These lights are gonna shut off on me. You have to turn the car on. I don't give what? a fuck, dude. No, you don't. Why? You can turn those on. But anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. I hope you took something from it, as always. And comment down below what you guys want to see in the future. If you guys want me to never record Cornelius again, let me know. I know it's hard looking at his face. But, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Yeah? Peace. Yeah, peace.